Hey guys, it's Eric Reagan again with Photography Bay. I've got the Canon 80D here in Vegas and want to take a couple minutes to walk through the time lapse settings inside the camera. While Canon also includes a time lapse movie mode under the movie settings, I still prefer to shoot my time lapses using the intervalometer to capture raw format images, which I can then edit with greater flexibility inside Lightroom and export the files that can be larger than the HD resolution video if I want. And those of you who have been with Canon for a while remember the pain of having to use an external remote to do time-lapse shoots with your Canon DSLR. Ever since Canon introduced the 7D Mark II, though, a built-in intervalometer has become more of the norm on Canon DSLRs. Of course, you can still use a remote like the Velo Shutter Boss for time-lapse shoots, but doing it all in camera is pretty easy and a great way to get your feet wet with time-lapses. While you can program the camera to capture from 1 to 99 shots, you can also expand that to shoot an unlimited number of shots in camera or at least until you run out of battery power or memory card space. So here's how to set up the built-in intervalometer for a time-lapse shoot. First, hit the menu button and scroll on the red tab to page 4. The first item on page 4 is interval timer. Press the set button and highlight enable. At this point, you can press the info button to adjust the interval time and the number of shots to capture. And because the ADD has a touchscreen interface, you can also tap the settings on the screen to make the adjustments and navigate the menu system. You can add hours, minutes, and seconds to the interval counter. In the number of shots setting, you can scroll up or down between 0 and 99 frames. If you select anything between 1 and 99 frames, the camera will stop shooting when it reaches that target. If you select the double zero setting for unlimited shots, the ADD will keep shooting until you stop it. Most of the time, I'm going to shoot more than 99 frames because every second of video in the finished time lapse will contain at least 24 frames. If my sequence is a higher frame rate than 24p, then I'll need even more images in a single second of footage. Once you select the double zero setting for unlimited shots in your time lapses, the ADD will start the time lapse when you press the shutter button. Now you will have to go back through the menu to enable the time lapse setting for each subsequent shoot, but you won't have to change the individual parameters for the interval and the number of shots for subsequent time lapse shoots. So that's really all there is to shooting time lapses with the Canon ADD. You no longer have to worry about missing out on a time lapse when you've left your remote at home now that Canon has decided to include this feature in their latest DSLRs. Now, I hope you found this time lapse tutorial helpful. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. Stay tuned to Photography Bay for more tutorials and photo gear coverage.